Having gathered all obtained gold and sand, Lin hurried along with me to those two talking gals. I briefly explained Mei and Shen my version of the underground matter, and I didn't also forget to mention any version on why the giant was so aggressive towards the mine owners. My conclusion didn't please Mei. I disagree with that. Neither you nor Lin nor even the children of the forest know anything about the magic, let alone the elementals. They're all wild and quite obeying. You've just proved my version with those words. Having seen the free elemental, your elders decided to make him obey. What could else be said? <laughs> That's not true. I've just said that. Ah, oh, forget it. I hardly believe to your story. Especially the part that Elemental helped you. Apparently, you were just lucky. Even if that's true, it wasn't too aggressive towards us, Dots. May only measured me with her doubting eyes. And we can hardly win over him, Shen. We can win over him, only if... The crowd of your masters couldn't overcome it. And what do you offer us to do? What can wolves do to a rock with their fangs and claws? Or maybe you succeeded in obey spelling towards the mountainous elementals, eh? Sorry if I was rude, but it's just a fact. And what do you offer, you human being? Well, I think us, that is, I and May, could pass by that elemental to take all the necessary crystals. After she finds what she needs, we, that is, me and Lin, will be free. And as for Mission of Shan, I assume there is another monster in that mine. I mean, the queen of those ants, and I doubt it is harder to kill her than that stone giant. That's out of the question. I won't go to Alborot. That is full of gigantic insects with a rather gigantic elemental. I think here is another case. Maybe you will give me your water spirit for some kind of negotiations. I could learn more about whether this gigantic monster is dangerous or not, if I use that spirit. Elementals can speak with each other, right, King? Uh -huh. I shrugged my shoulders in reply to Lin's question, but that's a good idea. Excuse me, what? Do you mean my slave, Elemental? It's as dumb as a tree. What do you think? What else can it do other than just serve me? You underestimate him. Lin and May's argue was interrupted by Shen. We must come to some conclusion. I say, let's listen to Lin. At least we don't risk anything. No, I am wholly against that idea. I am quite agree with a red-headed girl. May I insist, you must give your elemental for our experiment. Oh god. Twi but uh, sorry, stream notifications just randomly oh. popping up. Oh, oh, oh. You can go, you can go. Okay, okay. <laughs> no buts. Do as I told you. May angrily clenched her fist, but she then released her hand. Okay, then. As my lady wishes, tomorrow I will give you my elemental. Having come to the conclusion, we, that is, me and L Lin and May... <laughs> Me, Lin, and me. Yep. Turned back to the house. I swear to God, May's just gonna tell her elemental to act dumb as bricks. Yeah. Or to kill the rock one. Mm. Not that it probably could. My body was still itchy because of the stings and acid. I needed to wash off all of this dirt and finally have my relaxation time with wine. Oh God, he's such an addict. <laughs> I mean, after everything that he's seen today, I, I, I can I can forgive it. I can understand the wine, like, after this, but to go three nights in a row getting pissed? Well, it's what, too what much. else do you have to do back then? Except he's going to alcoholic. neglect Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> you could play checkers. Is checkers invented back then? Well, they're playing a weird card game. Yeah, but, I mean... You could, I don't know, play, like... Water polo with the water elemental. That'd be cute. Having left the warm bath, May prepared it beforehand, I sat at the table in hall. Mr. Kang, would you mind playing cards with us? 
Lynn and May have already been playing for money, and didn't I warn Lynn about it? I am not going to play for money. We'll make an exception for you. Please join us. I sighed and sat closer to the girls. Honestly speaking, I've already forgotten everything, but you will need the one who will be losing all the time, right? What do you say, Mr. King? You always have a chance. But of course, I have a zero chance. I yawned and took my portion of cards. What star bonus would you prefer, Mr. King? Don't give me the army bullshit. Yes! Yay, dragons! Uh, Toothless, the pet dragon, maybe. Yes! Double star treasury. Court magicians. May's smile scares me, or makes me scared. Apparently, she's reading all her actions. Perfect. Lady Lynn, your turn. Golden-handed pirate set out of the province co. I buy a caravan of traders for ten minerals. A flock of northern mermaids block the pirates. They will afford pleasure. <laughs> and I will save some money for a while. The girls are staring at me in expectation. Um. Ooh. Uh. I feel like if we go with the top one, that's going to make Lynn mad. Yeah. If we go with the bottom one, it will make May mad. Well, we are here to piss off May, apparently. So let's do that. Attack the mermaids with my lava octopus. Heck yeah, lava puss. <laughs> Mr. Kang, you may feel sorry for that. May bent over the card of mermaids and ran her fingers on them with some sadness. My poor things. <laughs> oh, Those merciless tentacles probed you. <sighs> Do we buy some goblins catapults or buy walls of icy cactuses? Mmm. <laughs> Goblin know, catapults? You think? Maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, goblin catapults sound stupid. It Ice does. cacti? They sound a bit better. Well, I don't know. What, whatever you think. I just think that if we go with icy cactuses, that's May's sort of territory. Mm-hmm. And Lynn's all about the money and goblins or city dwellers in... I don't know. I'm thinking of Labyrinth. <laughs> Fair. Goblin catapults? Alright, let's do that. Dots. After our steps were completed, we took other cards. Huh. And what should I do with that scared fox? I looked sideways to Lynn's and May's cards. My centaurs can trade and defend themselves... Now nobody is able to pre prevent me from getting more money. Ha! Are you sure about that, Lady Lynn? Vampires attack the centaurs. Ah, uh, why do you have to do that? Yes. Why are you like this? Why you gotta be like you do? Yes, drink all the blood, my precious bats. It seems May completely enjoys the game. I looked to my scared fox and decided to put it aside. We took some more cards. Save the fox. That scared fox is going to be the key to our victory. <laughs> this time, the game lasted longer. I managed to drink a couple of bottles of wine before Jesus. everything finally ended. Unexpected, but I won. My defense and the scared fox became the only ones who survived. Ah! It was not surprising because May and Lynn played off one's warriors against another one's. How come? I didn't think Lynn would find the counter-strike for my divine archangels. Boy, I would lose in any case, but I'm glad you have won, King. Lynn bent closer to me. You will give me all the money you have won, right, King? Lynn, I was clear from the very beginning. I don't play for money. Damn, you're so stupid, King. Lynn sadly averted her face again. It was another time during this game set. What? I don't know. I shall go to my place. Good night. Lynn has left the room, thus giving me and May some privacy. So, I have to leave you alone. At least you're not a fan of the card game. It seems she feels frustration about the lost game. I enter Lynn's room, and now I see how she looks at the coins on her bed. Her... 
What? Pig noir. Pig noir? I have P- no idea. Her black pigeon bears some interesting ideas. Sure. Pigeon. King! You have entered my room again, without any permission. Do you want to see me? Okay, then. I'm leaving. Wait. Can you help me untangle my hair? My eyes were on something else, so I didn't notice that her locks were entangled because of the hair clip. It seems it was really troublesome for Lynn. I came to the girl and ran my hand over her hair, trying to check the extent of the problem. My eyes, as my traitors stared at her bust, as it was hardly hidden with cloth. Who did buy those clothes for her? I don't remember seeing anything like this on sale in Airlands. I untangled the clip and handed it to the girl. She took it, and I slightly sat on the edge of the bed. What are you doing? You'll scatter my coins! She slightly pushed me, and I, having waited for this, demonstratively sprawled on the bed. Oh. The sound of dropping coins was heard all over the room. You! Why are you doing that? She attacked me from above and angrily seized my clothes. They're gonna have hate sex. Yeah, they are. And what do you think? I... I... I must punish you. It seems she wanted to frighten me, but instead she blushed because of that. And what will you do, Lynn? I felt that Lynn doesn't have any underwear. Great. Oh, that's the thing now. Okay.